everyone, it's June here at the Thomas Crane Public Library, and we have a lot in store for you. The latest updates on the library reopening, summer reading kicks off this month. We have highlights on programs from our events calendar and recommendations on the newest books in our collection. We're going to introduce you to one of our language learning databases, and we're going to take another look inside the library. Stay tuned for what's new at your library. We're excited to come back again with more updates to the reopening of your library. Our Adam Shore branch is open from Monday through Thursday, 1 to 5. You can browse the collection, pick up your holds, check out books using our Express Check self-checkout system, use the computers and print. We're excited to also announce an additional reopening of library services at our Wollaston branch. Our Wollaston branch is also open Monday through Thursday from 1 to 5. You can browse the collection, pick up your holds, check out books, use the computers and print there as well. Now our North Quincy branch is slated to be open in September and we'll have more information about that as we get closer to that date. If you have any questions, please go to thomascranelibrary.org or give us a call at 617-376-1300. With the ongoing facilities project still occurring at the library, the calendar's a little bit light this month. But let's check out some of the highlights that we have coming up in June. On Thursday, June 10th at 7 p.m., Decoding the News. Skip the bias, hype, and noise. Join David Wallace, a former business and technology reporter for the New York Times and Reuters, and journalism lecturer at Boston University as he shares pro tips and tactics to ensure that you are getting useful facts about politics, social media, and the pandemic by going beyond the headlines. In the children's department this month, on Friday, June 4th, it's music and movement with Ruby. Sing and dance with Ruby. Join us online. Ruby brings her popular preschool program to us virtually, so put on your favorite dancing shoes, clear some floor space, and join us for this lively mix of music and movement. Please have a stuffed animal scarf or something to drum on, and wooden spoons or silverware for drumsticks handy to use during this program. Sponsored by the Friends of the Thomas Crane Public Library. On Monday, June 7th, Pride Storytime with Miss Dorothy. June is Pride Month, and we're excited to celebrate with this special story time. Join Miss Dorothy live online at 10 a.m. for an inclusive story time celebrating all types of families, love, and being yourself. Geared towards the preschool set, but all kids are welcome. On Monday, June 7th at 9 a.m., registration begins for this month's campaign for Dungeons & Dragons for ages 10 through 15. New and experienced players are invited to join us for this introduction to D&D 5th Edition gameplay. Take on the role of a fantasy hero in this two-week series of Dungeons & Dragons. We'll meet once a week for an hour and a half to play this story. Campaign details for this month. We're going back into the time of the Age of Dinosaurs. Well, at least a fantasy world with dinosaurs in it. Players will battle T-Rexes and befriend some other dinos and maybe ride some too. Sponsored by the Friends of the Thomas Crane Public Library. First recognized in Massachusetts in 2007 when Governor Deval Patrick, the state's first black governor, signed a proclamation commemorating June 19, 1865, the day that Union Major General Gordon Granger rode into Galveston, Texas, and informed the enslaved people of their independence from bondage. Last year, Governor Charlie Baker issued a proclamation declaring Juneteenth Independence Day in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Celebrated each year on June 19th, Juneteenth commemorates the end of slavery in the United States and is an opportunity to reflect on the need to continue working toward racial justice. In observance of the Juneteenth holiday, the library and library branches will be closed. One common question we receive at the library is how can I learn a language for free? We have a database for that. Transparent Language Online is a free language learning service available through the Thomas Crane Public Library website. Start by entering www.thomascranelibrary.org into your web browser. Once on our homepage, hover over the Research tab to see the drop-down menu. From there, select Databases. Click on Language Learning from the chart of databases that appears at the top of the new screen or scroll down on the page until you reach the Language Learning Selections. Click on the Transparent Language logo or select the hyperlink to reach the login and sign up page. When the Transparent Language Online sign in page opens, you can either sign up for a new account or log in to an account you have already created. 
If you are signing in for the first time, next you will choose from over 100 languages to learn. After making your selection, you will be prompted to answer if you are going to learn this new language as a current English speaker, as a Latin American Spanish speaker, or as a Turkish speaker. Click continue to move through the prompts that follow. The first page that appears is your home base page. There you will access all the materials you save to your account as you work and learn. The three areas of learning on the home base page are learning new materials with the lessons found in My Learning Path. Number two, your learned vocab where you can refresh your knowledge on previously completed items when you see that they are stale. And three, accessing your favorite activities anytime with the content you most want to practice. You can use the main navigation bar to explore other parts of Transparent Language Online. And if you need help at any time, you can click on the question mark in the top right corner. As you work through the lessons, you can listen to the audio for pronunciations and see the vocabulary words written. You can also click on the menu tab for more options and to explore. You can use Transparent Language Online on a desktop or on the app. Remember, you do not need a library card to use this. You can register with your email and a password of your creation. Get started with Transparent Language Online today. It's National Audiobook Month, and for June's What's New on the Shelves, we recognize what's new in the collection in e-audiobooks and e-books. Here are some highlights of what you can find now in OverDrive in e-audio and e-book formats. In Fiction, Golden Girl by Ellen Hildebrand. The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. The Other Black Girl by Zakia Delilah Harris. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. In Nonfiction, Somebody's Daughter by Ashley Ford. The Plague Year by Lawrence Wright. In Young Adult, We Can't Keep Meeting Like This by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Iyamide. Sisters of the Snake by Serena and Sasha Nanua. Available in ebook only, Fire with Fire by Destiny Saria, and Sunny Song Will Never Be Famous by Suzanne Park. In Children's, President of the Fifth Grade by Sherry Winston, Pete the Cat, Pete's Big Lunch by James Dean, Simon B. Ryman by Dwayne Reed, and Whatever After, Good as Gold by Sarah Mlynowski. Visit ocln.overdrive.com to search these titles on your desktop and read or listen on the go. When the Thomas Crane Memorial Library was built as a gift to the city in 1882, it was in memoriam of Thomas Crane. The gift was made by his wife, Clarissa Starkey, and his two sons, Albert Crane and Benjamin Franklin Crane. Shortly after construction in 1889, Benjamin Franklin Crane passed at the age of 48. Lafarge crafted the angel at the tomb in memoriam. Let's take a closer look. Lafarge's most praised and recognizable work in the Richardson Building is the Old Philosopher, greeting you on your left as you enter. But to the left of the grand fireplace is another stained glass masterpiece presented in 1890, The Angel at the Tomb, an image of resurrection and memorial of Thomas Crane's son. Benjamin Franklin Crane was born February 14, 1842, and died October 12, 1889. The Angel at the Tomb is an imagining of the Resurrection, featuring an image of the empty tomb of Jesus. He is risen, from the Gospel of Mark 16.6, is inscribed in the piece. Lafarge's notable technique of delicate glass layering, or plating of opalescent glass, creates texture, depth, and rich, vibrant colors. The window was moved from its original location in the library to its current, in an effort to catch more light from the sun to showcase the details and exhibit the work in its intended form. With any questions about what you've seen here or other details of the Richardson Building, you can contact the local history department at the Thomas Crane Public Library. That's everything for this month. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this month's program, call us at 617-376-1300 or visit our website for more information, thomascranelibrary.org. We'll see you next time at your library.